What's up, beautiful people? If you're seeing this video, this reading could be for you. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. So the first card I'm seeing is the Two of Swords. This represents like a roadblock or a crossroads, some sort of indecision. Some of you are having a tough time making a decision. So let's see what this decision is that you're having a hard time making. What is this about? The Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Some of you are having a hard time deciding whether to walk away or to keep fighting for something. This could be a relationship, this could be a friendship, this could be a job, it could be anything. Apply it to your situation how it fits. But for some of you, I do feel like the right choice is for you to walk away. The Eight of Cups talks about letting go, walking away, and pursuing your happiness. I feel like your happiness is not where you're at right now. And some of you can attest to that. You're like, I'm unhappy. Nothing's going to change. I'm hearing nothing changes if nothing changes. So I do feel like it is time to walk away. Okay. But I see that some of you are afraid because it could create some sort of confrontation. It could create some sort of conflict or arguments. And some of you are afraid that you're going to be alone. You're not going to have friends. You're not going to have love. You're not going to have a job. But Spirit's asking you to give up that fear anyway and to move on, to let go because I'm hearing that there's something better out there for you. But it, the universe is asking you to take some sort of action to set yourself free from whatever this is. For some of you, it's manipulative. I'm hearing something about manipulation. There's been some sort of manipulation here and you're being asked to set yourself free. I'm also getting that there's been some sort of jealousy or competition and so you're being asked to let go and move on from these people, places and things because there's something better out here for you. I'm also seeing a snake. Snakes could be significant, and I'm getting that some of you, these people are starting to reveal their true colors, especially as you walk away and distance yourself from these people, which is going to help further solidify your decision. It's going to prove to you that you're making the right decision because these people start to get hateful or vengeful or nasty or just say mean things. And you're like, oh, okay, got it. I see who you really are now, I see. I keep getting this message that some of you thought that you needed someone else or you needed people in your life, but I think that the universe is trying to teach you a lesson on detachment. It feels like some of us manifested people, places, or things into our life out of this needy place, out of this codependent, desperate place. And I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, I feel like the universe is now trying to teach you a lesson on detachment and is also trying to teach you your worth with the King of Pentacles because these people don't match your energy. These people don't uplift you and support you. So I feel like it's time to bring the tower down, which is you doing this. And I feel like if you don't make this decision to let go of these people, to walk away from these people, places, things, situations, then the universe is going to do it for you at some point because I'm getting that all of this was a temporary energy. All of this came in for you to learn the lesson that you don't need anybody else and that every time you manifest from a place of desperation, it's going to create more lack. So the universe heard you say, I need this, I need that, I don't have it. So the universe gave you people, places, and things that are aligned to that same energy. They were never going to stay anyway. It's time for you to bring the tower down. It's time for you to choose yourself. It's time for you to move on. But I can tell you that by letting go of these people, places, and things, you're going to attract better for yourself because you're telling the universe, Hey, I learned the lesson. Hey, I hear you. I'm ready for what's meant for me. I'm ready for my soul tribe. I'm ready for my dream career. I'm ready for my person. I'm ready for the right people, places, and things that align to me. I've learned my lesson. I'm no longer needy. I'm no longer codependent, period. So I hope that this helped you. I'm sending you love always. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated, and I will see you next time. Peace.